today we're here to celebrate a monumental achievement. We built 77 concrete pontoons to replace the world's largest and vulnerable floating bridge. We need to replace the 520 floating bridge. And Aberdeen and Grays Harbor have been excellent partners for the Washington State DOT in this effort. We would not be standing here today without the fine craftsmanship and dedication of hundreds of workers, including carpenters, laborers, iron workers and equipment operators, cement masons, and electricians. At the project's peak, we had nearly 450 um, craftsmen on site. It's gonna be one of the most unique uh, floating bridges in the world, and as Julie said, it's gonna be the longest. It's gonna be a lifeline uh, to the city of Seattle, the state as a whole, actually. And it's something that everybody that's worked on should, you know, remember the rest of their lives, I hope, because I can tell you the commuters using the facility are sure going to appreciate it. On behalf of the Quinault Indian Nation, I just want to offer our gratitude and, and thanks to all those that had anything to do with this incredible project. I want to thank Julie Meredith and her staff for leading this project. Uh, it's been a fantastic relationship that we have had. I want to thank Kiwit General Company for being good neighbors and using our local services. They just talked about how much was spent here in our local community. Using our motels, restaurants, stores, and thus helping our community. Thank you, Kiwit General and the Department of Transportation for having faith in our community. You are welcome back anytime. Come as you are. That's what we mean. We're here to be friends. We've had almost a thousand people that have worked on this job over the last four years. And hopefully um, people are happy with what Kiwit's done here because that, that was one of my main goals when I started this. So just want to thank the community and uh, we'll be floating out the last ones tonight.